Good morning, brothers and sisters. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please all kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death, may our worship of the sacraments of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us. In the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we in turn the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel. May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now meditate on the joyful mysteries. The first mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry for banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, a most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that meditating upon this mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Monday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. 
Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us sing joyful songs to the Lord. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in a night. You sweep men away like a dream, like grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent. Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exalt and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From the farthest bounds of the earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steep and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and utter His praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior He stirs up His ardor. He shouts out His battle cry. Against His enemies He shows His might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing, holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills, all their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey, by paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You who stand in His sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise Him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to His name, for He is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, make lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote, of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, 
and kings in their splendor he slew, Sihon king of the Amorites, Og the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land, on his people their land he bestowed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, what more shall I say? I have not time to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets, who by faith conquered kingdoms, did what was righteous, obtained the promises. They closed the mouth of lions, put out raging fires, escaped the devouring sword. Out of weakness, they were made powerful, became strong in battle, and turned back foreign invaders. Women received back their dead through resurrection. Some were tortured and would not accept deliverance in order to obtain a better resurrection. Others endured mockery, scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned, sawed in two, put to death at sword's point. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, needy, afflicted, tormented. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered about in deserts and on mountains, in caves and in crevices in the earth. Yet all these, though approved because of their faith, did not receive what had been promised. God had foreseen something better for us, so that without us, they should not be made perfect. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, whose wondrous mercy He has shown me in a fortified city. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Once I said in my anguish, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard the sound of my pleading when I cried out to you. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requires those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. We all stand. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerasenes. When he got out of the boat, at once a man from the tombs who had an unclean spirit met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him, and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day, among the tombs and on the hillsides, he is always crying out and bruising himself with stones. Catching sight of Jesus from a distance, he ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, Unclean spirit, come out of the man. He asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name. There are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from the territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside. And they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine. Let us enter them. And he let them. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about 2,000 rushed down a steep bank in the sea where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside. And people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by legion sitting their cloth and in his right mind, and they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine, and they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him, but Jesus would not permit him, but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus has done for him. And all were amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sa ibanghelyo natin para sa araw na ito, pinakita na mayroong dalawang pamamaraan ng pagharap sa ating pangamba. Mali at tamang pamamaraan. Ano yung maling pamamaraan? Yun ang pinamalas ng mga taga-gerasins. Nang nakita nila ang pagtutunggali ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo laban sa mga demonyo na sumapi sa isa nilang mamamayan. Natakot sila. Ayaw nila ng gulo sa bayan nila. At dahil sa takot nilang yon sa ayaw ng gulo nila, kahit na nalupig ng ating Panginoon yung demonyo, eh hindi pa rin nila pinahintulutang manatili ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanilang bayan. At hininging ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay umalis na. It takes two to fight. At sa kanilang pag-iisip, pag wala yung dalawang nagtutunggali, magiging payapa nila sa sila, sa kanilang bayan. 
wala nang gulong. Yan ang kadalasan nating solusyon sa ating pusong gustong lagi ng kapayapaan. Walang gulo. At kapag ka walang gulo, ayaw nating pumanig doon sa nagkakagulo. Kahit na ang pinaglalaban sa kaguluhang yun e eh, tama o mali, katotohanan o kasinungalingan, tatahimik lang tayo. Wala tayong pakialam. Ayaw kong makisangkot. Ayaw ko ng gulo. Hindi natin nalalaman na kapag ka ang nakataya ay tama o mali, katotohanan o kasinungalingan, hindi ka maaaring hindi gumawa ng paninindigan. The very fact that you refrain yourself from making a decision is a decision in itself. Kapag ka ang nagtutunggali, eliwanag at kadiliman. Yung hindi ka pumanig sa kahit isa, e eh, ibig sabihin, eh, panig ka na sa kadiliman. Sapagkat pag hindi ka pumanig sa liwanag, lalamunin ka ng kadiliman. E eh, yung mga tao sa Gerasins, eh, nung na, nahintakutan sila sapagkat nakita nilang, naku, magulo ito. Parehong malakas. Si Jesus, may isang propetang may kapangyarihang galing sa langit at demonyo na sumapi sa isa nilang mamamayan na ang pangalan ay Legion. Alam niyo ba ibig sabihin ng Legion? Ang Legion ay isang tropa na kung tutuusin kung pagbabasihan ang army ng mga Romanong sundalo ng panahong yun, e humigit kumulang sa bilang na limang libo. Limang libo! Kaya nga tingnan niyo kung ilang baboy yung sinapian. Nung sinabi ng Panginoong Yesu Cristo, sige, luma, lumipat kayo dun sa mga baboy na yun. Dalawang libong baboy. Yung tumalon at namatay. Ibig sabihin, napakaraming mga demonyo. E ano yung kabilang panik? Yung tamang pamamaraan ng pagharap sa pangamba. Yung ginawa nung naging biktima na sinapian ng mga demonyo. Sumunod siya kay Kristo. Pumanig siya kay Kristo. Ayaw na niyang maging biktima ng kadiliman. Kaya ang kailangan niyang gawin ay sumunod sa liwanag. Gumawa siya ng desisyon, susunod na siya sa liwanag. Hindi na niya binitawan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. E ang sabi naman ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, alam ko yan, nakapanig na kita. Subalit ang ibig kong gawin sa iyo, isusugo kita upang maging saksi ka nang sa ganon, mas marami pa ang manampalataya sa akin at magkaroon tayo ng hukbok ng isa ring tropa sa pamamagitan ng pagsaksi mo na lalaban sa tropa ng kadiliman. Magkakaroon din tayo ng legion. Kaya sinugo niya, sige bumalik ka at mangaral ka at ipamalita mo ang kagandahang loob ng Panginoon sa pakikipaglaban natin dito sa mga kampo ng kadiliman. Ang buhay natin dito sa mundo ay pakikipigdigma. Kaya nga sabi ni San Pablo sa kanyang sulat sa mga taga-ipeso, e isuot nyo ang kalasag ng Diyos upang kapag ka ang araw ng kasamaan ay dumating, matatagpo ang kayong matatag sa inyong katayuan. Matatag sa inyong katayuan. 
At ano yung kalasag na sinasabing yun? Yung ating pananampalataya. At paano natin pinakikita yung ating pananampalataya na tayo kaugnay ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating panalangin. Panalangin. Yan ang ating sandata. Panalangin. Sapagkat ang demonyo ay tuso. Matalino yan. Lahat na gagawa yan. Kung ano-anong anyo. Pwedeng magpakita yan. Kahit ano, pwedeng gawin niya sa makapangyarihan. Kabisado niya ng banal na kasulatan. Kung gusto niyo, memoria magmula sa unang pahina hanggang huli. Pwede niya sabihin sa inyo sa pamamagitan na niyang kanyang katalinuhan. Ang isa lang na hindi niya magagawa ay ano? Yung lumuhod at magdasal. Iyan lang ang hindi nagagawa ng demonyo. Kaya kapag kayo, eh, nagdududa kayo, kung yung katabi niyo, eh, demonyo, eh, iyayain niyo sa simbahan at humarap sa altar, o kaya sa altar ninyo. Sabi natin, magdasal tayo, at titignan niyo, iiling na katakot-takot yan. At makalumayas pa. Sapagkat isa lang ang hindi magagawa ng demonyo, ang magdasal. Kaya ano ang sandata natin laban sa demonyo? Magdasal. Sapagkat yun ang kaugnayan natin sa Diyos. Sapagkat pag tayo ay walang kaugnayan sa Diyos, anong kabutihan ang magagawa natin? Meron nga isang binatang mayaman, tinawag ang ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa Ebanghelyo ni San Marcos, ang sabi, Good Master! Butihing maestro. Ang sabi ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo, bakit mo ako tinatawag na butihing maestro? Isa lang ang mabuti. Isa lang ang mabait. Sino yon? Ang Diyos. Tayo ba mabait? Si Father ba mabait? Paminsan-minsan. Pag may sumpong, hindi. Kaya ngayon lumalapit sa akin, eh, pumupunta muna doon sa mga... Malapit sa simbahan, sa sekretarya, o kung sino mang kawan, itatanungin muna, mahusay ba ang takbo ng ugali ni Father? Wala bang sumpo bago ako puntahan? Bakit? Alam nila, hindi ako mabait lahat ng oras. E sino ba yung mabait na tunay? Yung tunay na babait, walang humpay ang kabaitan. Hindi yung mabait isang oras, mainit ang ulo sa ikalawang oras, Mabait na naman sa susunod na oras. Sumpungin lang yon. Eh lahat tayo sumpungin. Eh din ma tayo mabait. Sino lang ang mabait? Ang Diyos. Eh sino ba yung kalaban ng mga demonyo? Eh di ba yung mababait? Eh sino sa atin ang mabait? Kaya kailangan kaugnay tayo lagi ng Diyos. Sapagkat ang Diyos eh parang araw. Yan lang ang mainit. Walang humpay sa paglagablam. Kaya kung gusto niyong mainit kayo na walang hinto, kailangan kaugnay lagi kayo ng Diyos eh ng araw. Pag kayo eh humiwalay sa araw, bababa uli yung temperatura ninyo at lalamig uli kayo. Kaya kung gusto ninyo lagi kayong maliwanag at lagi kayong mainit, kailangan nakabilad kayo ng walang humpay sa araw. Ganon din tayo. Kung gusto natin bumait, eh kailangan kaugnay lagi natin ng Diyos. Eh paano natin magiging kaugnay ang Diyos lagi? Eh wala tayong humpay sa pagdadasal. Kaya nga sinabi ni San Pablo sa kanyang liham sa mga tagi-ipeso, Pray without ceasing. Magdasal kayo ng walang humpay. E sasabi naman natin, paano ako makapagdadasal ng walang humpay? Hindi ba magtatrabaho din ako? Hindi ba may katungkulan din akong iba dito sa mundo na dapat kong gawin? Alam nga naman ako'y magbababad dito sa altar o sa simbahan na nakaluhod. May paraan dyan. Anong paraan dyan para tayo makapagdasal ng walang humpay na laging kaugnay sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng panalangin? Yan ang dahilan sa sama-samang dasal. Kooperatiba ng mga dasal. Pag-ugnay-ugnayin natin ang ating mga dasal. Pagduktong-duktongin. Halimbawa, sa simbahang ito, o kung meron tayong isang daan, isang daan tao rito, Il ilang minuto kayo nagdadasal? Isang araw? O por lo menos sabihin nating 30 minutos. 
Pero nyo yun, kapag yun, eh ginamit nating pondo sa pagdadasal, yung tatlumpung minutong yun, pinadami ng isang daan, abada pa isang araw. Kaya habang yung iba'y nagtatrabaho, may nagdadasal, yung may nagdadasal, nagdadasal para doon sa mga nagtatrabaho, walang humpay, sapagkat ang dasal natin ay para sa bawat isa. Sa pamamagitan, no, lagi tayo nakapanig sa kabutihan. Eh sabi ko sa inyo, si Father, hindi mabait, sumpungin. Lahat naman tayo sumpungin. Eh. Kaya kung tutuus eh, naku, sa dami ng tukso sa mga pare, eh matagal na akong hindi nag lumaba sa pagkapare. Pero bakit pa ako nandi dito? Sikreto, dasal. Nagdadasal ako para sa iba at yung iba nagdadasal para sa akin. My prayer and the prayer of others pinagsama-sama. E miyembro ako ng isang mga pamilyang nagdadasal, the order of preachers. Oh, ilan yung mga nagdadasal para sa akin? Anim na libong mga pare at mga hermano. Sampung libong mga mongha sa buong mundo. Yung mga monghe, yung mga, yung mga madring hindi umaalis sa monasteryo. Na ang buong buhay nila'y nakalaan para sa pagdadasal. Araw at gabi. Sampung libo yun. Tapos apat na pung libo na mga madring, yung mga nagtatrabaho sa mga eskwelahan, ospital, at mga kawang gawa. Yung mga sisters na yan, nakikita ninyo, mga kapatid ko yan, lahat siya nagdadasal. Padamihin nyo yan sa buong mundo. Kung ako natutulog, may nagdadasal para sa akin. Kung ako gising, ako naman na nagdadasal para sa kanila. Huwag nyo nang bilangin yung mga santong nakikita nyo dyan, na may estatwa dito sa simbahan. Patuloy na nagdadasal para sa akin. Pabaitin niyo po si Father Enrico. Pabaitin niyo po si Father Enrico. Pabaitin niyo po si Father Enrico. Oh. Kaya ko ako may nandi dito. Eh dahil sa mga taong nakdadasal para sa akin. Kaya kami nandi dito para din ipagdasal kayo. Kaya ipagdasal niyo rin kami. Yan ang kapangyarihan ng dasal. Yan lang ang kinatatakutan ng demonyo. Yan ang kalasag na sinasabing ni Pablo sa Epeso. Isuot nyo ang kalasag ng Diyos para pagdating ng araw ng kasamaan, matatagpo ang kayong matatag sa inyong katayuan. Dalangin, dalangin, dalangin. Sama-samang dalangin sapagkat ang mga taong sama-samang dumadalangin, magwawaging sama-sama sa pamumuno ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. O halina, magsitayo tayo at manalangin sama-sama. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Holy Father, the bishops, priests, and deacons may help us to remain strong in our faith in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christian believers may have the courage to speak boldly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may render support, especially to those who are embittered by suffering and pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all of those for whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and His Assistants, and for our brothers in ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May our prayers, Almighty Father, in our togetherness as a community, be raised into your presence and listen to them because they are the only power that would conquer darkness and prevent us from sinning and make us steadfast in following the way to truth and love which Jesus Christ has preached in your name, in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. For the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, you word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with blessed apostles, with St. Dominic and St. Francis and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. Jesus loves us, and in his love for us, he taught us to call his own Father our Father, so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against Jesus. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel.
Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Blessed be the Lord, for He has come to His people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the only to our father Abraham to let us free from, from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophets of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Blessed, Blessed be, be the, the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join us in the Oratio Imperata for the Archdiocese of Lingayen Dagupan. Ito po yung sinasabi kong pagdadasal nating sama-sama, lalo na kapag ka dumadating ang mga araw ng kadiliman, yung ating sama-samang panalangin ay napakahalaga upang malabanan natin at magkaroon tayo ng matatag na katayuan kapag ka dumarating ang ganitong mga panahon. Kaya kadalasan po merong ganitong mga Oratio Imperata. Hinihingi natin ngayon sa pamamagitan ng pagdadasal sa pamumuno ni San Jose 
Ngayon po si San Jose, malapit na po ang kapistahan ni San Jose. Kaya siya po ang ating hihinga ng tulong upang tayo isubaybayan, ihingi sa Panginoon na tayo gabayan at palakasin ang ating kalooban habang tayo nahaharap sa mga pagsubok sa panahong ito. So makiisa po tayo sa ating pagdadasal na sama-sama. Let us turn to St. Joseph who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick. To help us in our needs, let us pray together. St. Joseph, Joseph, pray for, for us. St. Joseph, you saved the Savior from death in the hands of Herod. Save the world from the death of COVID-19. We pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered to see the child and his mother born on, in poverty in a manger. Stay with us as we endure the, our crosses of hunger, joblessness, and sickness due to COVID-19. We pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary, that her heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless our efforts to end the pandemic through the vaccination program and observance of health protocols. We pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brethren who are sick and dying. We pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and depressions into hope, joy, and peace. We pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. St. Joseph, come to our aid in these times of anguish and anxiety. Thank us under your care as we place our trust in you now and forever. Amen. Kami po'y lubos ang nagpapasalamat sa inyo na nagbigay ng panahon upang makiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Misa. Naway magpatuloy kayo sa pagdadasal para sa aming mga nagsisilbi dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Makakaasa kayo, kami rin, magpapatuloy sa pagdadasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga pamilya. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join me as we pray for the blessing of the sick as well as blessing of rosaries and your other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made the heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.